Hello and welcome to the third tutorial in our series Smart Management Techniques. I'm Doris Edwards. Inside this video you will discover how to make important messages stand out visually in your inbox and how to create a rule for incoming messages, for example to file automatically a daily newsletter into its appropriate subfolder. Let's start with the visual display of messages in your inbox. In our example here, I'd like to make the Win Info Update emails appear in red as soon as they arrive in the inbox. The first thing I do is to retrieve the sender's email address by copying it with Ctrl C. And then I want to adjust the view to make these particular messages appear in red. A view in Outlook jargon is the display of email elements. In the left hand pane we have the folders and to the right we have the folders content displayed in a certain way. This is called the view. Other pre-configured views are also available. The default view is called Messages. To choose other pre-configured views, I recommend that you activate the Advanced Toolbar via the View menu and the Toolbars command. Then simply activate the drop-down list here for more choices. So what we are going to do right now is to modify the view called Messages. I do this by selecting Current View and the Define Views command in the View menu. Click on Modify and then, to request a different color, select Automatic Formatting. Push the Add button to create a new rule and I give a name as is usual in these cases. Then I select the font and color I'd like to see displayed when the message arrives in the inbox. And of course, I need to set the condition so that Outlook can identify the incoming message correctly. I do this by pressing the Condition button and by pasting the previously copied email address into the From field. As you can see, and depending on your needs, you can set simple and much more complex conditions to identify incoming messages. And if we have done it right, the result should show right away. Well, good, seems to be the case here. As we are already into rules, let's take this idea a little further. There is a specific place in the Tools menu for setting rules of all sorts. Let's activate the Alerts and Rules command. And then we click on New Rule to start a rules visit. There are many predefined rules to pick from, but I prefer creating my rules from scratch. So let's move to the Start from a Blank Rule section. Rules may be applied to incoming or outgoing messages. Bear this in mind, it opens great opportunities. Let's go for incoming messages this time. The next steps are really quite straightforward. We just need to know what we want. Click on Next to move into step 1 of the rules visit. Which condition do I want to check? Well, I want to do something to incoming messages that come from certain people. And obviously we have to specify who these people are. We do this in step 2 here below. Select the name or paste the email address straight into the From field and then go on to the next step. Again, quite straightforward. Now, what do we want to do with this message? We give the instructions down here in step 2. And then we add a second action, namely to attribute a follow-up flag to the email. This is important so that we don't forget messages once they have been filed away automatically. Please remember this, it's a great feature. I'd also suggest that you watch the second clip in this series to find out more about how to display flagged messages in one single place with so-called search folders. As you can see, many actions may be added at once. The third action will tell us whenever a WinInfo update message arrives. I feel a little uncomfortable about this last action, which I only show for demonstration purposes, because good time management tells us to deactivate the incoming message alert window. Did you know, according to some statistics, that it takes us an average of 9 minutes to get back to our original task once we have been interrupted by the message alert window? Anyway, we are now ready for the next step. Here we specify any exceptions to the instructions we have given so far. We skip this bit. The rule is now up and live. All we need to do is to test it. Also, another good feature to remember is the possibility to run the rule retroactively on a folder of your choice.
Well, seems to have worked for us. Hope you liked my tutorial. If you're also a Google Mail user, please come back for clip number 4. There's some really neat techniques in Gmail that will help you be proactive and efficient.